favorite audio engineer here, Tori G. Just wanted to talk to you guys today about Presona Sphere uh, workspaces and how it integrates with sharing sessions in Studio One. Um, I'm using Studio One Professional. So the other day I received a session uh, to mix and master and as you can see there's all these tracks right here right all the tracks we got all of our associated tracks and audio um i started to mix on it and you know i got my new plugins and inserts and everything going on there um but it turns out the artist wanted to include some more vocals so the cool thing about persona sphere is it'll send you an email and it'll notify you in the daw as you can see here and so whatever file you were working on it'll change the name so it's saying, hey, local version was changed, the the, the uh, file was updated. So you can just go ahead and open the session. This is the new session. And as you can see, these are the new audio tracks here that were added, okay? In this case, it was a, a bunch of background vocals. So uh, the quickest way to get these into your current session that I've found is you go ahead and find your new your session, the renamed one, and then you just open that up. Here's mine. And so what you would do is go to song, import song data, find the song. And in this case, this is Ty Marie's Overthinker. So here's my version. And then here's the new or the, uh, the new uh, updated version. So I'm just going to open that, find the tracks that I want to import. Hit that, select all the stuff that I want to import with those tracks, hit OK, and boom. Now I have all the audio from the new session imported into my current session with all my, new, with all my plugins and everything unaffected. Hopefully this helps you guys, and I think this is a really dope way to use the workspaces in Studio One Pro and Persona Sphere. Y'all have a good day.